single old black women who are independent, that don't need a man for nothing, that don't need a man for protection, I'm suggesting you get yourself a brick. It's only 58 cents so you can protect yourself instead of talking down a man and expecting man to come protect you when you, when you start trouble. And I wasn't victim blaming. I didn't blame nobody. I didn't blame her. All I'm saying is it wouldn't have gone as far as he did if she also had walked away. And how come nobody is even asking about the guy that hit her with the brick? I, nobody even asked me who he is. Everybody just so, so focused on uh, me not being there, me not telling the truth. But nobody's even focused on who actually hit her with the brick. Have anybody even tried to find out who he was? How come I don't see nobody posting him? How come I don't see nobody posting the guy that actually hit her with a brick? How come nobody's asking about him? I'm not victim blaming, but you guys want to be so independent. You guys don't need no man. So when you do get hit on your face, in your face with a brick this big, because this is this exact brick that it, it was well, not the exact brick, but this was the style of the brick. And he grabbed it like this, and bang! I saw the makeup fall off her face and attached to the brick. I saw the brick fall down. It was like when Beckham scored his last goal. You, could, you should have seen the way the brick bend across her face all the way to the cheekbone. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing about it. I was not going to sacrifice my life for a total stranger who is causing chaos. And I stand with what I said and I will do it again on heartbeat. I will watch. I will watch as the, uh, as, the, as the brick goes across her face and do nothing about it. And I'm not ashamed of it. Once again, I wasn't victim blaming. Uh, she don't deserve what she got. But once again, she quite still avoided it. She quite avoided by walking away. Keep her mouth shut. It's that simple. Like, I hate to say it, but it's that simple. Walk away. And she didn't. She kept on, she kept on talking. She kept on talking. Not everybody is your father. Not everybody is your brother. So, so watch the way you talk to people in public because people can react in a different way. Imagine if you had shot her. She got been dead by now. So don't talk crazy to stranger in public and expect a black man to come and protect you. Get a brick. Protect yourself. Brick City. Now you saw this video. This is part three of what happened. Now you hear what he said. That, you know, and I think she, he was addressing to black women on social media who's still defending her. Listen to this. And after that incident, she did have a GoFundMe. And it's funny that a lot of people, some people are naive or some people just blind as a bat of telling y'all what's going on. See, when you, when you do people, and this is why I said people need to watch what they say and people just needed to step back and just wait for the facts to come out. Because at the end of the day, listen, with a situation myself, I'm not perfect. I'm doing the best I can with my news and commentary. Try to get the facts. I'm, now I'm starting to wait, 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 wait with the facts come out. But then some of y'all are, are worse than me. Some of y'all have been like, oh, he did this to a black woman, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't. But you just but you didn't realize that he is he ain't no black man he ain't, he ain't us <clears throat> he is a Somali American man he ain't no black man like us he ain't no foundation of black foundational black Americans like us he's not and he he said he stand by and watch and he cannot gonna risk his life this is the problem with with me now <clears throat> every time someone's in trouble. When it comes to boyfriends, girlfriends, domestic violence, we have to step in and, and be the superhero, the supermans, the batmans. Two things could happen. Either he get deleted or he's in the hospital fighting for his life. And yet the same woman who's getting beat up by her boyfriend or her husband, she decided to go back with him home. And the question is, is it worth it? Sometimes we as men need to stay out of people's business that don't concern us. But sometimes some men are going to say, well, the woman's in trouble. We have to say, listen, if it concerns us, that's one thing. But sometimes we don't know these people like that. We don't know how they are. So and then I've been hearing stories that some black men are deleted now. Because we got involved in situations that, that don't have anything to do with them. 
So th sometimes we just need to step back and just observe some things now. As far as this guy that that, that y'all saw that was the witness, you notice the accent speaks for itself. He's not foundational black Americans. He's not FBA men. But yet, y'all, really, yes, he said black men. But you notice she didn't talk about, I mean, she ain't talking about, well, um, Somali men. She's just talking about black men in general. And most black men, we don't do that. We don't, we don't really hit females with bricks. We don't. Let's just keep it real. Some of us don't do that. Like I said, I don't, I don't condone violence of any way, shape, or form. But saying that, I don't know why these black men allow this to happen. And at the end of the day, y'all stereotyping black men as a whole. Because most black men, especially FBA or American black men, we don't do that. We don't hit women with bricks. I don't care who they are. But it shows you the kind of stuff, this is what's going on on social media. But, it, but well, what she did to these white men, that's a skit, right? And again, what the person hit you with a brick, you know, now you play victim. All these years, you, you disrespecting black men, you call them this, this, and this. You even involved with the Kiki Palmer situation. What she said about Kiki Palmer and her, and her, and her son's father. You bring that, bring that situation up. Have opinions about that. How you disrespecting him. So, so, yeah, this is a pattern of what she does. This is a feminist what she does. And like I said, I don't condone any violence in any manner. If, if, they, if they know who hit, hit her with a brick, he need, to be, he need to be in jail right now. But at the same time that these two white men... If, if they wanted to, they could call 911 and, and press charge because you assaulted them too. A slap is a, an assault. So that's all I'm going to say about this story. But uh, I'm, I'm going to end up doing um, my news and commentary on my station here later on this afternoon. But yeah, this, this situation right now with, with, with the Somali girl and the man that hit her with a brick... Is really get is really dividing and starting a gender war, and it's already a gender war before that. But at the end of the day, it makes things worse now because now it's people are taking sides on social media. With some women, not all, but some women taking that woman who got hit by a brick her side, and some dudes are starting to side it with the guys that didn't help her. So it's it's, it's getting crazy, y'all. Y'all, let me know what you think about this in the comments.